get the kind of afternoon wave going on. Um, we'll just, Andrew, if you can, that waiting room, people, I'm going to try not to look over to the waiting room. It's addicting here in my I office. I check it's, it. Don't worry. I got I'm the surround it. sound going on. It's <laughs> unreal. But um, so excited for the second session of the Chalk Talk. Um, and I, th I really believe we've got a good one for you today. So you got to put your visionary calp on today, okay? Your visionary calp. Now, last week, um, we I had a conversation with Ash, um, Ashley Paulson that, that I'm hoping she takes me up on. So we, we've got a lot coming over the next several weeks or, or – or, you know, over the next several months with you guys. And, and, and so I'm excited about this call. But what I want to do to kick it off is I want to bring up some slides and I want to show you. And again, this is all being recorded and, and will be posted up on our YouTube channel. Um, we'll put that in the comments for you to be able to um, get on the YouTube channel. So last week we talked about this and I'm going to see if I can get some interaction. So let's review. How many of you, all right, we said, number one, we're going to schedule an event. Now, we, we, we talked about events, tools, and recognition. So there's a lot of ways to do an event. But how many of you scheduled an event, and our goal was over the next seven days from, from last Tuesday? Now, Andrew, you can take that down, and we'll come back to it in just a second, please. Here's the thing that I want us all to remember. We're, we're here to learn. Like We're here to self-reflect. We're here to get better. It's kind of like if you ever played sports, if you're ever, ever in a club, if you went to school, like whatever, like, like you're here to improve. But to improve, you got to be honest, right? And how many of you, you know, have ever been given a task, but you look up and you're like, I didn't do it. I didn't do the task. Well, there's people on here that didn't do the task from last week. You know, I already know that without you telling me. So don't feel guilty. Just, just be honest, right? So the task was schedule an event in the next seven days. It could be a Zoom. It could be an in-person. It could be, you know, but an event to build to. So who's willing to come on and tell me, about something that you did. You scheduled it, you took action on it, and here's what happened. It doesn't have to be long. Let's go to Tammy. Tammy, can you unmute? Give me a last name. Which Tammy? Tammy Mobby. Okay. I'm sorry. Hi. I said that energetically. Hey, can you Tammy. hear me? I can. can I can hear you. I can hear you. So tell me now. You didn't just do one. So in your, but I, I say Tammy's this person. She just does it all. You can't <laughs> say, oh, she just did. She's old school. No, she's not. Go check I'm, out her social media. Well, you, I am old in some ways, Brent. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. She is doing it all. So over the last seven days, Tammy, what, what, when you think of events you've built for, what, what went on in your world? Well, I think we always have to be building for something like there always has to be something out there, whether it's we're building for a Zoom, we're building for an in-home gathering, we're building for uh, a Super Saturday. We always have to be building for something and promoting it, not just sharing it, but promoting it, putting it out there. So we did a couple things. We set up our Colorado Springs Super Saturday for May. We got uh, we booked a location. And we got that down. So that was a big um, undertaking to find a, a location that would hold, uh, hopefully, a large group that will be coming in for that in May. <clears throat> I also did uh, launch family dinners again. And so we built for that um, two times a week, or two, not two times a week, two times a month. Um, we're going to do family dinners where we have invited people in on a Friday night, on a Sunday. We had a lot of success with that in the past. And then, of course, COVID changed that. But we know people are ready to get back together. So we did that. It was fabulous. We had 
four, five, six, seven guests that came. So that was awesome. We did door prizes for the guests um, and it was really wonderful. So now we're building for the next event, which is going to be March 20th. So, and Ellie's got events that she's building and she's doing every Thursday and Craig is doing every other Wednesday. So we've really ramped up on um, face-to-face connections with people because I do believe I do, I love social media and I do social media. I do it. But at the end of the day, you have to have a conversation. <laughs> you have to be able to talk to people and share with people. That Tammy Walden, she just said my event was a little bit different. But you know what was really cool about this, Brent? Tammy Walden is in uh, New Mexico and she's lost, I don't know, over 150 pounds. She's just signed two new brand partners again. Um, this woman is building, building, building. But she did, she she um, h- built for our event in Colorado Springs and then she hooked her brand partners, her new people and prospects into the Zoom. So there's multiple ways of doing it. She didn't host it herself, but she got a hold of Eva and Eva did a Zoom and she got people on that Zoom. And so I think it's just thinking outside the box. How can you get in front of people in an environment that fodders conversation and sharing? And that's how I think your, your business grows. So anyway, that was what we did last week. No, Tammy, and, and, and it's phenomenal. And and. Here's what I want for this group right here, because you're getting on at high noon on somewhere around noon, your time on a Tuesday or every Tuesday, like to implement, like, like to take action to go, why not me? If Tammy can do it in Colorado Springs or Eva can do it, or Tammy Walden, Walden can do it. Like, why not me in my area? So Right. I mean, you just you just got a tip, family dinner, like like getting people together. Why? Because they've been cooped up, locked up. Like, doesn't mean you're old school. Here's what it means: it means you're doing it all, or maybe it's maybe it's um, setting a super Saturday. Okay, that's tip number two: super Saturday, like or or at least an event. Like, it doesn't have to be a super Saturday. Maybe you, you go. I don't. I just have a few people. Okay, we'll set a set a training together. And have a couple of your few people get together. So you've got something to build to. You go, what do you build to? I'm going to bring Andrea Rosser up right now. So we have a Super Saturday um, this weekend in Jackson, Tennessee. Okay. That we have personally been building for. You go, why do you build for an event? I don't live in Jackson, Tennessee. Andrea doesn't live in Jackson, Tennessee. But you can play who do you know around Jackson, Tennessee. You can play who do you know around Colorado Springs when Tammy Motby is doing a, a family dinner. Like, who do you know around there that you can funnel people to that location? You know, who do you know? But, but getting the word out, what about if it was in Canada? Could you play who do you know in Canada? Absolutely. That's where the brother sisterhood of working together comes from us taking care of each other. Right. So got an event, Chris Doyle, uh, uh, Kristen Doyle white is doing an event in Jackson, Tennessee. So guess what? It's about two hours from us. So we're like, let's play. Who do you know? Andrea, how's it going right now with Jackson, Tennessee with guests coming to that event playing? Who do you know? Well, I think it's been really exciting so far. We have three committed people that are coming and I'm returning some more calls today. So I think we're going to have a good little group over there. So just reaching out, having conversations, following them to an event. But Tammy made the, she threw nuggets out there. The question is, do you have an event that you're building for? If you don't, that's the name of the game in network marketing. You got to have an event. My biggest fear is when people go, well, I've got an event, but it's going to be in June. Well, what are you going to do between now and June? Like, like you need events going on and it's all different types. So did anybody do a Zoom event? Any type of Zoom event? Tammy probably could raise her hand again because she's doing all kinds. She just does it all. But is anybody on here that did a Zoom event? I'm, I'm, I'm looking. Andrea, you might have to help me. Sorry. 
So wave your hand enthusiastically. Or, okay, Anthony did. I'm going to ask you. Hey, that. Anthony. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about it, Anthony. Did a, a Zoom event. Matter of fact, Anthony just enrolled someone today in the business. I don't know if it was from the Zoom event, but tell it's us about it. It's from the Zoom event. So um, Hot Chocolate had asked me to uh, team up with her and do, she wanted to talk about her weight loss, but she don't really know the business too well. So she asked me to come on there and talk about the business. Well, I ended up being a co-host. And so we've been doing four Zooms a week, Monday through Thursday. Three of those are for weight loss, but we kind of tie the business in at the end. And then one of them, we just talk about how this business has impacted our life. And I had a good friend tuned in. And this morning she said, hey, can you send me the link? I'm ready to sign up. And so we do it every day for four times a week. We call it March Madness. So we're just going March Madness and we're doing four times a week. I love it. I love it. I love it. And here's the thing. Partner up. So let's bring it back down to simplicity. Can Faith Forward partner up with someone to do a Zoom four times a week? Absolutely. Like have fun with it. Have fun with it. Somebody that's good at telling their story on the product that might have had a transformation. You go, well, my skill is the business. So you collaborate, you, you do it together. And you're just, you notice that Anthony and Hot Chocolate didn't say, oh, we got to have 75 people on to do the Zoom. Oh, everybody in New Age has got to tune into our Zoom. No, they're just doing a Zoom so that they got something to funnel guests into, right? Something super simple. Faith Forward, you raised your hand. I did that by accident, but. Oh, tell us, <laughs> tell us something. Tell us something good, Faith, because you're building yeah, a business. So, yep. So I have set up uh, a weekly Wednesday business luncheon. Uh, my first one's tomorrow. So I have eight planned out then through April. And um, I'm also involved with a couple business expos around the cities. So I'll be at those events as well. And um, the Chamber of Commerce in town has invited me to be part of their crew. So I'll be hooking up with business partners there as well. I love it, Faith. So I'll tell you a personal one B. Great job, Faith. Keep it up. Um, love what you're doing. I love what you're, you're I see you doing out there. Um, so we did a we did a network launching yesterday. Okay, first one we've done, um, and it it was in an area, and we just said we're just simply going to start. You know, we're just simply going to start. We'll learn as we go, right? And so we had it. Um, Andrea got together a we we did some renew packets. Uh, we did seven of them in a, in a, in a bag. We, we printed off a label, told some of the benefits. We sold them for $35 a bag, like seven times five. We just put on there $5 a day and we highlighted renew. And we did this network launching at a little coffee shop that, that set like 14 people in a, in a closed off area. It was really, really neat. Um, and so, Bottom line is we just made it really um, where small business owners could come in there and they had a minute to share their business. And we finished up with highlighting our business, our company and, 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 and our renew product. And, you know, people left out of that. It, it, at the end of the day, we just simply started, but here's, here's a nugget for everybody. Guess what we did. We did it Monday, but we set the next one up for, next Monday. Consistent and persistent. Next one, next Monday. We, we're not going to do one Monday and then go, well, it did work or it didn't work. We're not doing it again. We're going to do it again and again and again, because it doesn't matter if you're doing a Zoom, you're doing an in-home party, you're doing a family dinner, you're doing a network lunching. You got to have consistent and persistent mindset. So you got to be the person this is a wall on the back. If I scratch that wall, just a little scratch, I just keep scratching it, keep scratching it, keep scratching it, keep scratching it. If I did that for two days, what would happen? That little scratch would turn into a what? A dent that would turn into a mark that would turn into a hole. 
That's what happens in network marketing. You start, you simply start, you scratch away, you scratch away, you scratch away, and then you start to see smoke and something special. Andrea will show you a picture of that. I know she's, it's okay. She can put a picture in the, maybe the chats or something of, of her renew packet um, that we did at the network lunching. Again, this is all about grabbing ideas from each other, okay? So if you've got other ideas on this that you did over the last seven days, put it in the chats because we could go on and on about this. Another thing I did, and we, we won't take the time to talk about it, but here's what I challenge you to do. If you did not book an event, don't, don't let another seven days go by. Let this seven next seven days be like you're putting something down as an event of something to build to. You go, I don't know what to do. Reach out to somebody. My friend Annie from Memphis is on here today, okay? She's coming to Jackson, Tennessee this weekend because of building for an event. Buffy Wallen's built. Buffy reached out. Buffy's bringing her to Jackson, Tennessee. And that's the start of something special, right? That's, that, that's where it's at. So we want all of you to do that. Seven days. Put an event together. You go, I don't know. Partner with somebody. Figure out a way. Figure out a way. And then the other thing I asked you to do was um, recognize. Oh, well, I said use the tool over your over the next seven days. If you used a tool last week in the business, put it in the chats. We talked about all the different things in our company that we have that are tools. So if you used a tool last week, Mine would be, one of the tools would be the play video that, that, that is done. Um, but if you used a tool last week, put it in the chats. The new age share out. Let me tell you an event I'm building for. I'm building for the event this week that we can, and, and I'm sending the link out from the share out that we went over last night. So people, if they buy, right, for gut health, guess what? I get credit for it. So I've been building for that event. You don't know what I'm talking about. You need to go listen to last night's call, okay? Uh, on the new age, the new age Monday night call. So, and then I said, recognize somebody. Is there anybody before we move? Because we got to move quick. Is there anybody that recognized someone last week because of the call to action, and you've got like something happened with it? And I want to go back to self-reflecting. If you're sitting there going, why didn't I recognize? I don't know. I said, recognize yourself or somebody on your team. If you didn't do that, there, there starts to be a correlation. Okay, Susan Salem, tell us about it, you and Bill. We'll get you. We'll get you. Okay. okay. Okay, you're you're on. Well, I mean, it was something I would have done anyway because uh, Billy and Andrea Grady had signed up a new member, so that was a a no brainer uh, to to recognize them and put a flyer down for them in uh, New Age Nation. So. But but Susan, it, it, you wouldn't be. I mean, we would all be shot with the amount of people that don't get recognized for customers or brand partners. You know. It's like somebody, somebody let it slip through, you know, they, they enrolled somebody, but no recognition happened. Right. So great job for doing the little things. Remember the little things is what wins the war. The little things is what wins the game. It's the little acts of appreciation of seeing you. Remember people want to be what they want to be seen. I want to be seen. It's okay. It's that human instinct. Like, like, it's in our DNA as humans, like we like to be seen. So anybody else? Great job, Susan, Bill. Okay. There's some great comments. That's great. Just come, keep coming with the comments if you've got some comments around that. And I'm going to pivot up. So, so I'm going to leave and I'll be right back. So Andrea, um, you can fill in just a second for me if you can. All right. Well, I'll read this real quick while he's 
readjusting. So I loved what you said, Kathy, that you recognize, recognized a gentleman on your team for his dedication. And I think so many times we do recognize when people are winning, right? Like I made a flyer for Buffy Wallen when she enrolled a new person. But I think about there's so many people on the team that are in the trenches, but maybe they're not having an active win, but they're still fighting. So for you, Kathy, to reach out to somebody and recognize them just for, and not just for like being dedicated is huge for learning, learning more is huge. And that was a great reminder. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to put that in my like daily to do reach out, give some love to somebody that you know, I'm just thinking of, right? Maybe not for performance-based, just love-based. Who can I love on today? Okay, can you see me okay, Andrea? We can see you. I'm gonna make you, uh, let's see if I can get and highlight you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, good deal, good deal. Hello, everybody, good to see you. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, Andrea, put up the next slide real quick. We're going to pivot. We're going to pivot, but we're going to, I need you to put your vision cap on, okay? I want you to think about this, okay? Network marketing, our industry, there's two top people in our industry, okay? There's connectors and there's builders, okay? Connectors and they're builders. So I want you to think about that. So there's connectors and then there's builders. Thank you, Andrea, for that. Now, all of you on here today, I'm considering you a builder, okay? You're somebody that is enrolling customers. You're somebody enrolling brand partners in your career in the industry. You're a builder, okay? Now, Andrea, can you hear me okay? Yes, you sound great. Okay. But I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the vision of this industry, okay? You're a builder, okay? But... What do we do every day? We connect with connectors, okay? Follow me here. We connect with connectors. And if we connect with connectors long enough, connectors will lead us to what? A builder. And you can put it in the chats and the comments. Follow along with me, okay? So that's what happens in our industry. And then when we find a builder, this builder will start connecting people, and then it'll eventually lead to another builder, right? Ashley Paulson is a builder. Arlene is a builder. Jane Bolden is, a, Jane Rouse is a builder. Deb Snyder, builder. Melissa Jackson, builder. But through builders, you find all these connectors along the way. So you got to understand the vision of network marketing, you know, of, of, of what we do every day to make this thing really happen, okay? We're having conversations. We're talking to people. Our connectors are a great thing. Yes, they are. Our builders are a great thing. Absolutely, okay? And sometimes we even branch off and we're, we're, we're connecting, and then this connector really quick finds a what? A builder. And you're like, oh, that was great, right? But then through that, you connect with some more people that lead you to a builder. But let me ask you a question. Do you know who's a builder and who's a connector? No. No. Like, I can tell you, if I'm a builder, through connections, landed Tammy Motley. And through connections, landed Robin. Demio, right? And through connections, landed Crystal Vance. 
And then through connections landed Ashley Paulson. Like, like I could go through this in every situation. So let's pull back at the slide, Andrea. There's a reason for this because I want you to see in the second segment of this is why do I do what I do? Connectors connect people. And then when connectors connect to a builder, organizations are created. Okay? Organizations are created. So move back up a slide, Andrea. How many of you right now have went through your network marketing career and you, you're connecting? You're connecting. They're using the products, but nothing's really working. So you're connecting another and you're connecting another. And it's like, it feels like it's all you, right? It's all you. And then all of a sudden, one of the connectors led you to a builder and it's the next slide. Boom. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, it will when you're willing to stay in the game long enough with activity. Remember, now you stay here all your whole life within activity, but if you stay here and consistent with your activity, but when builders come, explosions happen, and, it, and, and that's where organizations are built. Let's go to the next slide, Andrew. Okay, let's, let's move back up and exit off that slide right there, if you don't mind. So here's what, this is the reason I want you to get this vision. I want you to see this vision because so many days I talk to Jerry Forbes or, or, or Jerry Costello and they're like, I'm connecting, but an explosion hadn't happened. Keep connecting. Keep connecting. Now, they didn't say that, but I'm using names. They keep connecting because when a builder shows up, your organization will get created. Okay? It, it's what happens. It's the name of the game. It's what makes this so fun, rolling over the rocks. So, If you knew this, let me ask you a question. In our comp plan in New Age, in our comp plan in New Age, how many levels do we get paid? <laughs> For everybody out there going, I need to know the comp plan before I do this thing. Do you know how many levels you get paid? Infinity. I'm getting all kinds of responses. Here's the bottom line. If you knew our comp plan, like I know it, you would be level blind. You would not worry about levels. Here's what you would worry about. Connector, 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 builder, right? Like, Connector, connector, builder. Like I'll go down a hundred levels deep to connect to a builder. Okay. Is this too Like, is this too complicated? I'm, I'm asking. Maybe put it in the chat. Does this make sense? Like, I'll go work down here. I'm level blind. Like, I, I'm down here working. I'm treating this person right here like. They were sponsored by me because they could lead me to a what? Put it in the comments. They could lead me to a builder, right? Would it be worth me treating this person like they're, like, what, what I mean by treating? Do a party for them. Do a Zoom with them. Like, like, go visit them. Like, give them information about calls. Like, spend time with them. Now, in saying that, I'll treat you like a personal sponsor, but it's going to go something like this. How many of you has gotten real excited about somebody and you go to them and you're like, dude, Dale, we, I'm ready to run. Like, will you run? Like, are you ready to run? Like, I'll give you 100% of my effort. I'll give you all of my time. Like, I'll, And Dale's like, oh. Yeah, I, 
I don't know. I mean, I got 10 minutes a week to do this thing, but I mean, if you'll do the majority of the work, have you ever heard that before? Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I treat this person like a sponsor because they're ready to. I go, hey, let's get something on the schedule. Let's get an event on the schedule. Done. They're willing, they're coachable, and they're hungry. I'm going to treat them because I know their efforts is going to connect me with the builder eventually. Right? So I'll go down to the next line, to the next line, to the next line, to the next line. Because in my mind, subconsciously, I'm level blind because I'm connecting, connecting, connecting. Because I know a builder's coming. I just don't know who. It could be Shauna. It could be Jerry. It could be Kathy Roberts. It could be Faith Ford. Like, I'm just going to connect until a builder appears. How do I know a builder appears? Could I show up that slide, Andrea? When you, how do you know a builder appears? Because it'll look like that. Does, does everybody think they can figure out who the builder is when it starts to look like that? It's not going to be hard for me to wake up at the end of the week and go, wow, there's a lot of stuff happening in my business. Yeah, it's because you got a builder. It's because you got a builder. That's the power of this business. So, all right. Now, here's what you got to know. If you're on here right now and you go, I want to run but I don't have anybody to run with. Like everybody that I got, raise your hand if you ever felt like that before. Everybody that I got, I go into them, I'm telling them I'm ready to run and they're yawning saying, you know, well, I mean, I don't know if it's time for me. Like, you know, you get what I'm saying? What do you need to do at that point? Go start you a new line. <laughs> Go start you a new line. There's nothing in your business that four or five new connectors won't change. If I'm going to Mike Whitten, going, Mike, I'm ready to run, and Mike's going, I'm, I, you know what? You give me 10, Brent, if you'll, if you'll work hard, I'll give you about. 10% a week. No, that's that's not the way it goes. Like, I'll give you a, a six on a scale of one to 10 if you're going to be willing to give me a six. Like, maybe even you give me a five, I'll do a six. Like, I'll pull more weight than you, but but you got to give it. You got to be willing, coachable, and hungry. Does that make sense? I'm trying to stay on track here, but I'm trying to get you to see the big picture of what I know to be the power of our industry. So why do I go out every day and work this business? Because I'm connecting with people because I know at some point a builder's coming. So I'm level blind. The other thing is I'm looking at my notes. There's something that happens here as I'm connecting with people. Connect, 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 builder. Connect, connect, builder. But have you ever found somebody, let me ask you a question. What happens when you put a bolt, a bolt, right? Through a wall and you wanna lock it in place. What do you put? What do you use? Come on now, put it in the chats. You put a nut. That's right, Valerie. You put a nut. Okay. Somebody's like me. You, you, they're like, you hire somebody to put a nut. You put a nut on, okay, and you ratchet it down. You ratchet it down, and it tightens that bolt up, right? If you get great at playing the game of enrolling connectors and connectors and connectors and understanding the builders coming when the builder arrives, you'll know it because of what it looks like. 
And then eventually you stay in the game long enough and this person down here shows up and they're called a locker. <laughs> what I mean by locker, they are a builder that secures a line. Check mark. <laughs> Legacy. Willable, trustable business. The locker secures the line and throws enough volume. You go connect, 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 builder happened, connect, connect, builder took this to South Africa that took it to Europe and blew it up and locked this whole line of business down forever that sends you over to building a new line because there's just, it's done. There's a, there's a, it's done. What, what, there's a Christian song was like, I could go on, I could start singing. So, and you don't want that, but secure the line up. The locker secures it. So my question is, do you build, do you, do you know who the builder is? No. Do you know who the locker is? No. I mean, a locker is a locker somebody that just secures the lineup. So, so when Tammy Motby's organization came to the business, and we could go all the way through all the people in her organization that are connectors and builders, but for me, it's a locker. Like, like it's a locker. It's it's poof. So service it, appreciate it, call them, but they do their thing no matter if I'm here or not. So guess what? Go, go build another line, right? Does that make sense? Everybody say yes or no. Give me a, give me a yes in the comments if it makes sense what I'm saying. But you, it helps to have this simplistic vision when you're out there every day going, is it worth it? Is it worth it to keep going, Mike Whitten? Is it? Like we all say it. But if you really knew the simple game of network marketing, it's just connect the dots until a builder shows up. And you just consistently do what you're doing. That's what I love about network marketing because you don't have to be an Einstein to do it. You don't, you know, it, 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 you don't have to. It's just you get the vision, you see it, it makes sense. And then you just go put in the work. Go have conversations. Now, why is this so important? Let's go to the next slide. Andy. And then I'll, I'm hoping we can get to some conversation. Because when building two lines here, building two lines, which is what you're doing, you are the builder, and you are wanting to build two lines to 13,334. 13,334, okay? Follow me with this. Please follow me, because when you do that, here's what it looks like. The, the ultimate goal, the grand prize, is to do this every week. Every week, do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep making it simple for you today because I want you to get the vision. What would this goal be if you did it every week? Well, really simple math. 2,000 in base pay. Around, but I'm gonna go low. Okay, I say equal to or greater than in match pay, but let's just don't let's just say uh, let's go fifteen hundred in match pay. Let's go low. Okay, and then you're going to make uh, let's say an income bonus, your income bonus pool for optimizing. Let's say it's four hundred, and your pay line bonus let's say is around 1200 and then your savings plan bonus is around 500 a week once you've done your $10,000 bonus. Could somebody add that up for me? 
2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and 600. So fifty six hundred dollars a week. That that's the comp plan. Like we could dive into it and go like, you know, geometry and fit, like like we could get more in depth than the base commission. But at the end of the day, vision wise, if I did this roundabout, not making any income claims. I could be looking at around definitely a six figure, solid six figure income. Go take 5,600, multiply it by four, multiply it by 12. Okay. And if I wanted to drop down, I can easily say, oh, yes, I am knocking out a hard six figure income. Okay. You can go do the math. You can make this conservative to a thousand. You can make, I mean, it's the math. So is that prize worth getting? Absolutely. How do I get there? Please get this. You get there by connecting. Builder. Just what I just showed you. Connecting. <laughs> Builder. Okay. Does that make sense? So why are we constantly going, let's, let's get customers and upgrade them to brand partners. Let's get brand partners, like challenge yourself to bring brand partners in every week. Why is that, Mark Whitten? Because I'm trying to make me more money? No, it's so you can connect, connect, connect to a builder shows up. If you put in one person a week, four people a month, Okay, how many is that in a year? Four people a month times 12, 48, 48 new people. Does that up your chances of getting to a builder faster than the person that's putting one person in every six months? Yes, yes. That's why it's a game of numbers of connectors because a builder will show up in the movement of connectors. That's what happens. Now, I'm going to break it on down for you to give you a better vision. I'm going to give you two. Follow me here now, because I, I hope that I'm, that, that. So we try to run a play here. Hey, you come here, you get four. You help those four get six teams. You help those 16 get four, 256. You help the 256 get four, 1,024. See, I love it when people talk to me about numbers because it's like, man, I had a great mentor <laughs> that spent time with me here. Because here's the beauty of this. If you add all this up, you add all this up, you would get 1,365 people that's ordering about a month supply, 100 PV. Okay, that's 136.5 in product volume. If you multiply that out, now divide that by two and then multiply it by 15%, you're sitting at base pay wise of 10 grand, 2,000. $237.50. My point is, base pay, is that a six-figure income? Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. But how did I get to that? You connect, 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 connect. Builder shows up. It's the same way, right? But this is what I go out and do every day. The more I do it, the more people I bring in, the more it ups my chances, and I get to this, okay? And I teach my organization the same. Here's another way to look at it. You build two lines of business, and your goal, your big long-term goal, is to get 134 people per week 
unsubscribe and say. Because it would optimize every Saturday for you at 13,334. 134 people on each line that's on subscribe and say. And you're in, you're, you're in the big money, right? You're in the big money. So at the end of the day, why, why do I show you all that? I show you all that because I believe that what you've got to have here is you got to have a vision. You got to have a vision of, is it worth fighting for? Well, it absolutely is worth fighting for. The money in the comp plan is unbelievable in our compensation plan here at New Age. Unbelievable. But I got to understand, I can want this all day long, but I got to understand the philosophy of what I do each day. Why do I want you to have an event? Because I want you to have something to get people to. Because that ups your chances of connecting with people. Why do I want you to do a Zoom? Why do I want you to invite guests? Why do I want you to be talking and sharing? Because all I want you to do is connect people to this company called New Age, to our products, because you don't have to worry about knowing if the builder shows up. Brent, I've been doing this for two years and keep doing it. Brent, I'm tired of just keep doing it. Brent, it's going too slow for me. Then go faster. Well, how do I go faster? Bring more people in. How do I bring more people in? Do more events. Just do it all. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, just like we did to start this today, if an action item is given to you, do you do it? Or do you let it slip by the wayside? Because when I found out from my mentor years ago, here's what he did. Here's what happened. And I'm going to end with this. He put us in a room, a group of people. I was surrounded by a group of people. Not one of those people in that room is here today. Not one of them. Zero. Lake Mary, Florida, I sit in a room with a group of people that not one is here today. So you can either get depressed about that or not. But I am, okay? So here's what he said, though, in that, that day in that room. He said, let me tell you the formula for becoming a million-dollar earner in our industry. And I'm over there like, yes, yeah, I'm like little Johnny in the back. Like, yes, I want to know that formula. And he said, Get good at recruiting somebody to your business every month. And then when you get good at recruiting one person to your business every month, then get good at recruiting two people to your business every month. And then three people. And then four people. He said, Brent, let me tell you, or actually it was the room full of people. He said, when you get good and you can go, you know what? My sole intention is to recruit somebody to my business every week. That's four people a month. Most people that's in the car dealership business would say, that's a failure. You only sold four cars through the whole month? He said, in this industry, you're a millionaire. That's all I had to know. My sole goal when I wake up in the morning is to recruit somebody to the business because I know they're a connector. I'm going to love on them. I'm going to support them. I'm going to lock arms with them. But they might not be the builder. They might be the connector that connects me with another connector that might not be the builder that connects me with another connector that then I lock arms with and then I love on, but they might not be the builder, but then they connect me to the builder. 
And there it goes. And everybody says, oh, man, you're so lucky and you're so smart. No, 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 no. I'm just connecting people. Because I understand the end game of this industry and what makes it so powerful. It's not how smart we are. It's not how great at a compensation plan we are. I got to understand what the compensation plan can turn into if I do that. But at the end of the day, if I know the simplicity of connectors and builders, and I'm willing, I'm willing to get good at recruiting one person a month and then turn it into two people a month and then three people a month and then four people a month, you get to four people a month, one person averaged out on a week, you're going to be a millionaire in this industry. Because now you're playing with the law of large numbers. You're playing with numbers. Your organization will do what you do. And the builders will come when the builders show up in your business. And how do you know they look different? How do you know they look different? Because when you see that graphic that Andrea Rosser put up, Andrea, one more time, an eight-year-old would know when a builder shows up. Because when the builder shows up, it looks like that in a matter of months. An eight-year-old would say, oh, wow, they're different than the rest of them, Dad. Yes, they are. They're a builder. Andrea, thank you for that. So. Andrea, if, you, if you're looking at the comments, we got like two or three minutes. I hope this lesson today helped. Like, like I want to kick us all for a couple of days of just setting a vision for what makes our industry so special. What makes it so special? So anybody got any questions real quick? Andrea, you, maybe just put it in the chats. And Andrea, you can, uh, you can ask me. And I'm getting a blue too because I'm thirsty. Anybody? No questions? I do not see any questions, but I did <laughs> see actual like arm pumps and cheering and um, lots of support, like lots of enthusiasm. So I will tell you what we're working on right now behind the scenes. I can't go into detail, but here's what I can tell you. We've got something coming that we're going to rally around. We're going to rally around. I don't want to show you. I don't want to give you any insight. But I promise you this. If you're willing to come here to this chalk talk session on Tuesdays, if you're willing to get your team to come here, and we get the people that's willing, coachable, and hungry, and they're willing to commit, there's going to be lives changed out of this right here with, with this movement with this company, with the timing that our world's in, like, like in the action items given. So um, if there's no questions, guys, I'm glad. And, and, and here's what I tell you. I think my action item today is really simple. You know, I was thinking, you know, what do you give them today, Brent? First of all, if you have not booked an event, book one over the next seven days. If you, if you haven't used the tools, use them. Watch last week's recording. Look at all of our tools. If you haven't recognized somebody in your team, recognize somebody. And then what I'd like for you to do from now to next week is visualize this. Like, put it down. Write it down on a piece of paper. I need 134 people on each line to optimize a line on auto ships of 100 PV. How many do I got now? How many do I need to get? Like set some goals, set some visions because we're going to go after them together. Okay. Because here's what I want. I want more people getting to that freedom of what we call optimizing an income position. It's freedom. That's what it represents to me. Freedom is choices. Choices whether you go back to work tomorrow. Choices whether 
you decide what you want to do when you want to do it. Do you want that extended vacation? You can take it. Do you, do you want to go at that finer restaurant and eat without looking at the menu price? You can do it. Do you want to go shopping and not worry about the price, but worry about what you like? You got it. Like, that's what that represents for me. Is there benevolence at the church that you want to give? Give it. Because it's there. Because you can. That's what that represents. When I look at optimizing, when I look at getting to that point, you getting to that point, that's what it represents for me. Is it's, it's whatever you want it to be. But make sure you know what you want it to be. Guys, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for your time today, okay? I value you getting on here. I hope you grab some value from it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Coach. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.